Good morning. This is another feature for my videos. It's called What's in My Lunchbox? This was something that I picked up during my many years working in a supermarket. It's the Box Appetit by the London-based company Black and Blum. Now, given my shifts, I would usually not have that much time to both prepare and enjoy my food, my meals. So I came across this little thing. And not only does it contain one meal, but it's compartmentalized. You can have this container for dippers or salad dressing. You can have this for your salads or desserts or vice versa, depending on your portions. And this main container. Now the whole thing is microwavable, but you've got to unlock the box beforehand. And that way you can take out your salad, you can take out your dessert, and just cook the entree. So today, I'm going to make a quick breakfast. What I've been getting really into is oatmeal and how just running with my creativity, I'm a trained illustrator, I can add all kinds of flavors, whatever drives my interest. Today I'm going to do something fun with strawberries and quick oats milk honey and to be a little playful white balsamic vinegar It's inspired by a, a box chocolate that I've had, and it was flavored with strawberries and balsamic vinegar. I was thinking that's a very odd ingredient to go into a confection. But then I learned that when you sweeten balsamic vinegar, it brings out that fruity grape flavor. And it plays with the other ingredients. So to fill you in on all the prep, I've just removed the tops from these strawberries. And I'm going to prepare them using another tool that came with the box appetit. The fork. You've seen forks before, you've seen spoons before, you've seen knives before, you've seen sporks that are a combination of fork and spoon and this is I guess it would be a north I don't know if someone already came up with that it's a combination between a knife and a fork where one of the times has a knife edge non serrated and so I'm just going to cut these strawberries into quarters Takes a couple strokes, no teeth on this knife. Now so that I can do this in one take, I've got some water nearby and a paper towel just so that I can wash the strawberry juice off. A 
more I do this, the more I learn. I don't have to move the strawberries that much. You just hold them with the top down, one slice, another slice, and you've got the berries quartered. So washing all this off. And I've got quartered berries. So the first ingredient are the strawberries. Next comes the oats, and I like to have a half cup of oats to a full cup of liquid. Usually I do it with milk, but when I don't have any milk in the fridge, I go with water. and a full cup of milk. Now you can prepare this beforehand at home and bring it to work. Cook it there if you have a microwave in your break room. The, the only thing that you have to be careful with is even though this has a rubber lining on the lid and locks, you can never be too careful. So make sure that you have the whole thing flat. You otherwise might have liquids seeping out. What I take next is the balsamic vinegar. And this is very strong, as most vinegars are. So use it sparingly. You want to have it tasted a little bit, a little bit of sour, but not too much. Just a little bit, just to make its presence known. And for the sweetener, you can use sugar, you can use honey. I use this thing called Mostly Mesquite Honey from Trader Joe's. Right? It's normally thinner and can squeeze out. I've had this for a while and it's thickened. So I use a fork. Mesquite honey I find works like sugar. There's a little bit of a honey flavor, but mostly it's just straight up sweet. So I scrape it off and put it in to the cereal. Okay, and now it's ready to cook. If you're following me at home, you can cook it now. You can box it up, take it to work. Keeping the other compartments aside, Take the lid, and then you press it down, seal it, locks, lock, lock, and you should be good. Keep it level.
So I'll be right back. I'm going to microwave it for two and a half minutes. And that should be fine. So I've just taken my lunchbox out of the microwave. It can be very hot. So no matter what, if you're using that or a regular bowl, please prepare yourself. Please protect yourself. Paper towels, actual towel, oven mitts, because it's very hot. So right now with the plastic and condensation, I'm literally asking, what's in my lunchbox? Even without the lock, you've got the rubber liner, so it may still be a little bit sealed. Now I wash off the fork so that I can stir it. After cooking, there's still a lot of texture with the oats. So I give it a nice stir. Don't worry, the times of the fork shouldn't affect the plastic that much. I like to take care of the this lunchbox by hand washing it. Dishwasher may work, but I find that the it can be a little too rigorous and scratches up the material. And here it is. It is strawberry white bas it is strawberry white balsamic oatmeal. You may want to wait a little bit to take it out of the after you take it out of the microwave. It is still pretty hot. But the strawberries cook right through. You can taste some of the sour from the vinegar. A lot of the sweet that is accenting both the vinegar and the berries. And it's very creamy. The level of the creaminess depends on what company's quick oats you do, what stock of them. Sometimes I get them out of a bulk container at the supermarket, and that can be a little bit more flowery. It's not as coarse in its final product. This has a little bit more tooth. I got it out of a store-bought container. So this has been What's in My Lunchbox, featuring strawberry white balsamic oatmeal. Enjoy, and leave any comments below.